Welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of the Congressional Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrose, and today's episode is episode 137. It's being brought to you by the good people over at Combat Flip Flops. Head on over to CombatFlipFlops.com. To uh, check out some of their great products, flip flops, jewelry. Uh, you get the, they got the nice war rugs, Afghan war rugs over there. Shoes even too. Check check all that stuff out. It's great stuff, made by great people with a great mission to uh, to help flip the view on how wars are won. Business, not bullets. And now a tale of honor. Herman was born on the twenty third of June, eighteen ninety three, in St. Louis, Missouri where he would attend Henrik Preparatory School and went on to enlist in the Marine Corps in July of 1914. He would be promoted to the rank of sergeant before deploying to Haiti, and it was his actions during a battle with armed rebels that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, For extraordinary heroism and conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity in actual conflict with the enemy near Grande Riviere, Republic of Haiti, on the night of October 31st through November 1st, 1919, resulting in the death of Charlemagne Peralte, the supreme bandit chief in the Republic of Haiti, and the killing and capture and dispersal of about 1,200 of his outlaw followers. Second Lieutenant Hannikin not only distinguished himself by his excellent judgment and leadership, but unhesitatingly exposed himself to great personal danger, and the slightest error would have forfeited not only his life, but the lives of the detachments of gendarmerie under his command. The successful termination of his mission will undoubtedly prove of untold value to the Republic of Haiti. Herman received his Medal of Honor in December of 1919, and was also commissioned as a second lieutenant for his actions as well. Shortly after this battle, Herman shot and killed another Haitian rebel leader that had succeeded Peralte, and was awarded the Navy Cross for this. He returned to the U.S. in 1920 and went on to serve in the Brazilian Exposition and Nicaragua, where he earned another Navy Cross for capturing a rebel leader. For most of the 1930s, Herman spent his time in Quantico, Virginia, Mare Island, California, and Hingham, Massachusetts. During World War II, he served with the 1st Marine Division until November of 1944. He went on to command the 2nd Infantry Training Regiment at Camp Pendleton, and then the 2nd Battalion of the 7th Marine Regiment during the Guadalcanal Campaign, where he would earn a Silver Star, the Legion of Merit, and a Bronze Star for his actions. Only a few years later, Herman retired from Marine Corps as a colonel on the 1st of July, 1948. Due to his actions in combat over his 34-year-long career, he received the rank of Brigadier General. Herman Henry Hannikin died on the 23rd of August, 1986, at the age of 93 at the Veterans Affairs Hospital in La Jolla, California, and is buried in the Fort Rosecrans National Cemetery in San Diego, Section C, Grave 166D. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you so much for listening to Tales of Honor Podcast. If you like this podcast, please be sure to leave a nice review, a good rating, and tell a friend. You can see more information on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and at talesofhonorpodcast.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them on over to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening. <laughs>